Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new Sims 3 speed build. This is part like something, I don't even know, like I've built so many houses for this. Basically it's another part of my renovating Sunset Valley series and I'm really enjoying it. I have done like five or six houses and I'm kind of just choosing what order I want them to be in. So I might record, so this one I recorded like yesterday, but I might record them in a certain order, but I might upload them in a completely different order because I just prefer some rather than others. But I love this house. This is Erin Kennedy's home and if you don't know who she is, let me actually, I took a photo of her traits. Let me pull that up because I tried to follow her traits while building this house. So she is brave, unflirty, she can't stand art, she's a technophobe and athletic and her favourite colour is blue. So I did as much blue without making it like over the top or anything. So the shutters are blue and like walls on the inside are blue and stuff like that. But I, I'm so happy with it. It's very, very different to the original house that was already in Sunset Valley. But I like it. I'm really, really happy with it. Again, completely base game. So if you want this house and you have no packs or no CC in your game, you can have this with everything you're seeing right now in it. And um, that makes me so happy knowing that I can share houses like that and anybody can have it and anybody can use it. So enjoy, if you wish, the link will be below on Mediafire, of course. But yeah, like I said, she, like I read out her traits and everything, she's a technophobe and I went to put in like a stereo and stuff and I was like, oh my god, she doesn't like technology. So I tried to stick to that as well as much as I could. And athletic, so I added a little bit of a home gym. It's kind of small, but again, it's a home gym, you know what I mean? It's not going to be anything crazy. There's like a treadmill with a weightlifting, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what you call it, but I love it. But um, yeah, I'm so happy with this house. Um, I used like nice white siding. It's very bright and I make the fencing and the columns here white as well, but I change it to wood, like more of a brown wood because I just thought it was a bit much and you'll obviously see on the thumbnail and screenshots and stuff how it ends up looking. But uh, you can see here, I'm like recoloring it white. It just kind of ended up being a bit much and I wanted a bit more colour. But also, there's a back garden. I never ever do gardens. I always forget about it because I end up getting to the garden after I've furnished the house. So I'm like, okay, just trying to get this done, put in any sort of plants and stuff just to get the house finished. But I actually took time and I made it really nice and I'm very happy with it. There's a little bench and what, like a barbecue? So happy with it. And I, like she, lives by herself there's no other sims so there is one bedroom and the other room that could be a bedroom is a home gym so if you wanted this house and you know you decide to ha like have her move in with, or have somebody move in with her or have kids or whatever or even you want a separate office or anything like that there's a whole room for that it's just the gym and the gym could move to the garage or something whatever you want but um it's a nice house it's pretty big the kitchen is so nice. I think I do that soon after I put in windows and stuff but I am actually so so happy with it and it's open plan and gorgeous. The living room is it kind of looks bare because like I couldn't put a tv in and stuff like that so it, it does look a little bit bare but I don't really care about it too much because I'm like happy with it and stuff. I think it looks nice. It looks cozy in the rug and all sorts like that. It looks good. And obviously the landing upstairs, that is very small. Um, but again, it's only her living in it. She only needs a bedroom and a bathroom and obviously her home gym and she's happy. But uh, yeah, you'll see it. I'm going through recoloring everything now and I'm very happy with it. But I am so prepared. I have like, I'm trying to think. I, let me name them off. So I have renovated and like recorded the Clavel household. That one I think will be out before this one because I've done the voiceover and everything for it. So I'm pretty sure that will be already out when you're seeing this. But I've also got obviously Kennedy, which you're seeing now. Um, who else? Crumpa Bottom. Just a basic starter home. I did that as well. Um, and then I'm in the middle of doing the goth house. That is what I'm doing at the minute. And it's a little bit difficult, but I'm getting there, you know. Again, I'm trying to go based off of traits and stuff like that. Where I like say, okay, Erin Kennedy lives by herself. So her whole house, because she likes the color blue and, you know, whatever her traits are, her whole house can be suited towards that. 
Whereas when I'm doing like a family, when there's a lot of sims, anything like that, I typically keep the traits, like the bedrooms, I keep them, basically, their bedrooms are the places in the rooms where I will kind of go crazy with their traits and stuff. So if she, if like Gunter Goth likes the color green, I will add green to the bedroom, but I won't do it too much to, through the entire house because it's just doesn't work like that. You know what I mean? I, my favorite color is green as well, but my whole house isn't green because there's other people living here and they like different colors. So I want to keep that in mind when I'm doing bigger households and um, bigger homes and stuff. But yeah, and I'm also trying to be experimental with terrain. That is another thing. Again, with the goth household, they had so much, they had like a graveyard and all sorts like that. So I wanted to try and include that in the house with like making it look good and look like, you know, natural. You know what I mean? It's not just like, in this corner of the house is the graveyard and this corner is the greenhouse and stuff. I want to make it like just look good and look like a real garden and I'm I'm very excited to see what I do with it. You know what I mean? Because I'm not finished it yet, but I'm very excited to see what I decide to do with it. But um, what was, I was saying something else. I don't remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, so I had so many videos. So I have, like I said, Crumple Bottom, Starter Home, Kennedy House, Clavel. Um, I think I have another one. Or well, either way, I'm in the middle of doing the goth house. Then I have another house, another speed build done, which I still need to like edit and like voice over and everything. But I might do that in between some of like this series as something a little bit different to do, just to, to mix it up so you're not constantly seeing renovations suited towards Sims. Um, so I have that as well. And then I have another like project I'm working on, a very exciting project. And for that, I have two videos. So again, still deciding when I'm going to put these out and kind of deciding, I don't want to put like all of renovating Sunset Valley one after another. I want to kind of mix it up a bit. These will of course be out on Saturdays as they are speed builds. If it's a renovation, I'm still deciding if it's going to be on like a different day, like a Wednesday, or if it will be a Saturday. I don't know, but I want to just pick a day and that be it. But I, I don't know because the starter home that I did, if you know the starter home in Sunset Valley, like the little group of them, like there's like the monotone, um, I don't know the names of any of them, but there's one starter home in particular and it is like like a rectangle, a bl big blue rectangle basically and wait, oh my god, you can see it. That's it on the right of this house. Okay, well just pretend you do not see it because um, I, it's not out yet. But there it is on the right. That house. I th Is it? Beside Kennedy House? It should be. Yeah, it is. Look, because the monotone is opposite it. Yeah, okay. So that house, that speed build, the video is shorter because obviously, number one, it's a house I renovated. And also number two, it's a smaller house in general. So it just didn't take as long. But I may do that on a different day to... The bigger homes that are longer videos because I like the longer videos being the Saturday ones because I just feel like if I did a shorter video on a Saturday and then you have to wait a whole week for another one not that I don't like it I just feel like I want longer videos on Saturdays so I'll decide I'll see what happens as you oh, look there's me changing all the color of it I think that looks so much better also the windows with the flower baskets are adorable upstairs there I'm trying to put shutters on the window and it was not working because the window was just too big so I change it to one of the ones with the flower box and I can add shutters because to me shutters kind of complete how the house looks and I'm so happy with them normally I need custom content ones that will actually work with certain windows and stuff however I managed to get it to work which is fine and also if I don't want a flower box I do believe there are other windows that are like plain with no flower box that those shutters also work for, I'm pretty sure. But um, also, another thing, I was taking screenshots for this house. This bathroom that I'm recolouring the walls for right now, I didn't decorate it. I don't even know why I didn't. I think it just like, I just completely slipped my mind. But um, the upstairs one I did decorate. So 
I may go in and like you know quickly add like a toilet and a sink or whatever either way like if you don't there's still a bathroom furnished and it is only one sim living on her own Erin Kennedy is that her name Erin oh my god I think it is wait what who's the guy the guy in that game whose surname is Kennedy Leon Kennedy no that's okay I just had to make sure I wasn't saying Erin Kennedy but Erin Kennedy is from like Resident Evil or something but no it's Leon okay that's okay just to make sure I'm not saying the wrong name the whole entire voiceover. But here's the living room. It is nice. It is small. It's got a blue rug matching the walls. Kind of matching the walls. A little bit. Whatever. I love it. It's so nice. Again, like in a bit, I think you see me go to put in a stereo by like the dining room. And I'm like, hang on. Erin hates technology and stuff like that, which um, I completely forgot about. But I didn't put anything in as far as I'm aware. Oh, I actually don't remember. I'm pretty sure I didn't. But yeah, no, the living room, I really like it. And obviously, if you want to add in like a television, you can do that. But I'm not doing that because um, I wanted to make it suiting the sim so that it, you could add this to your game, replacing Kennedy's, the Kennedy like household that's already there. And it will like match their personality and match their traits. Same with the other households add it in and it's gorgeous also yeah the starter home i actually made it a starter home which i'm so happy with like a starter home i had to google it because i didn't know and a starter home is roughly like 16 to 20k so i think it's about 18 so it's like middle of the road which is pretty good i'm very happy with that i was i wanted to make it cheaper but if i made it any cheaper it literally would be empty um but i'm very happy with it and it's nicely decorated it's not super bare and I'm very happy with it, but enough about that. You will see that in that, you know, that video or whatever. You will see it then. But today I am home from school. It is Monday, the 13th of November. You will probably be seeing this in a long, like a long time away from this, long, a lot of time from now. I, whatever, you know what I mean? Like you won't be seeing this like next week. You'll be seeing it a little while later. So there was like an orange weather warning for Ireland, like most of the country. So big storm, whatever, terrible weather, power might go. So my mother was like, oh yeah, so you don't need to go to school because the buses aren't going tomorrow and there's nobody to drop you in because everybody's like working. So I was like, yes, that is amazing. So I was like, oh my God, please say like the power doesn't go while I'm at home and like wanting to play Sims and stuff. However, right now, um, I'm actually being blinded by the sun because the sun is actually like insanely bright right now, which is crazy considering there was supposed to be a storm. Like last night, it was really rainy and everything, but it's actually uh, it's really sunny right now, which is great. It's very windy. It is windy and it is cold, but um, yeah, this storm is nowhere to be seen, basically. The storm is completely gone. However, I can't complain. I'm at home playing Sims and, you know, making videos and stuff, so I cannot complain about that. Also, yes, I did polls on Twitter. Let me pull those up really quick. But basically, I did polls on Twitter to ask for your opinions on things that I just, you know, when it comes to making videos and stuff. So I'm going to go through them now so you can hear. And I did also say that if you're watching this um, on YouTube, I'm going to read out the questions so that when you're watching the video, you can respond in the comments if you wish um, and tell me your opinions on things. So the first one is, do you mind me using CC when building? And 43% said yes, 43% said no, and 14% said sometimes. So that was very handy because like it kind of, I probably won't use CC too much anymore because some people don't really like it, but some people don't mind it at all. Um, but I think I'm going to lead more towards not using it because people can easily add their own but it's kind of hard to go around replacing every single object that the sims replaced because they didn't have a cc item if that makes sense and then do you prefer your houses do you prefer to download houses that are and then i said fully furnished partly furnished or empty and fully furnished has all of the votes which is so handy because i don't mind doing that whatsoever i usually do fully furnished houses apart from like a bedroom here and there but um, I'm definitely going to try and do that more often. And then I said, um, what did I say? Oh yeah, 
which would you prefer for me to use when building houses? So I said base game, and then in brackets, no CC and no packs. Or then I said base game and packs with no CC. Or then I said base game packs and CC and base game and packs with no CC won that poll. So that is very good and very handy considering I'm definitely liking that a lot more. And then the last one said, where do you typically download houses from? And the Sims resource and media fire actually won. No, the Sims resource and Sim file share won um, with media fire only having 20% of votes. However, I think media fire is still good and I still like it. So I'll see how things go. Either way, thank you for watching this speed build. This voiceover is coming to an end very quickly because I didn't realize how close to the end of the video we are. Follow my socials down below, download this house, and I just want to say thank you for watching this part of renovating Sunset Valley. Enjoy the screenshots, and I will leave you here, like I said, to see the screenshots, and I will see you all in next week's video. So have a good rest of your day, whatever you're up to, and um, yeah, goodbye. <laughs>